Welcome back to 5D Mystery School. Let's get into it. So on YouTube, Elisa asked, what are your thoughts on Google's Lambda? By the way, if you aren't following me on YouTube, please go ahead and do so. I do post exclusive content only for YouTube. And the same thing also goes for Patreon. The link for both is in my bio. This all started because a Google engineer believed Chatbot had become an eight-year-old child. Experts say it's not sentient, just programmed to sound real. But Siri and Alexa are both programmed to sound real, so this has to be a distinctive difference. This article from Wired was my favorite read about the topic. Lambda and the sentient AI trap. This article goes on to say, the focus on sentience also misses the point, says Gibru. It prevents people from questioning real existing harms like AI, colonialism, false arrest, or an economic model that pays those who label data little while tech executives get rich. It also distracts from genuine concerns about Lambda, like how it was trained or its propensity to generate toxic text. Pause to read a little bit more. It goes on to say, quite a large gap exists between the current narrative of AI and what it can actually do, says Giada Pistilli. This narrative provokes fear, amazement, and excitement simultaneously, but it is mainly based on lies to sell products to take advantage of the hype. Here's a bit more. It gives an example here about this cheeseburger article, and it goes on to say, language models sometimes make mistakes because deciphering humans' language can require multiple forms of common sense understanding, which they don't have. Further along the read, it says, a machine without social intelligence being sentient seems off. Last thing from this article, it says, how to make empathetic robots is an ongoing area of AI research. Read the last part of the article, which is going to take us further. Here's a patent from Google for asynchronous deep reinforcement learning, and this is applied to AI. And next, you can see Google buys DeepMind Inc.'s patent deal with Samsung. Here's the logo for it. And an example would be you asking Google's AI to come up with images for you, like the image pictured here. But Google has been dabbling in this type of technology for a while. They did come up with the Google Glass back in 2012. And they also have the smart contact lens back in 2014 which appeared in a patent. Here's a patent for Smart Glass back in 2013. Side note, Smart Glass will also replace phones in the near future, and phones will completely disappear and be a part of you. And this is from DeepMind's website. And I'm gonna go over some patents from DeepMind throughout their history so that you can better understand them as a company. Okay, first patent, generating audio using neural networks. Next, processing sequences using convolutional neural networks then generating video frames using neural networks. Neural networks for selecting actions to be performed by a robotic agent. 